Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video we're going to look at how to use Turnitin and Teams together. Now Turnitin is essentially a plagiarism checker and what you can do is you can enable Turnitin in Microsoft Teams assignments. Now this does mean that you will have to have this set up by your admin, but if you have, this video will guide teachers through how to use Turnitin and Teams. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, please remember to give us a like and subscribe to Teach Blend, it really helps. Here in my teacher view, I'm just going to create an assignment by choosing the assignment tab and then choosing the create option. Once I've clicked this, I'll just need to choose assignment and you'll see as usual the assignment options that you need to fill in, such as title, instructions, points and who to assign it to and due date. You'll also see in settings an option to enable the Turnitin option as a plugin. Once you've done this and clicked assign, this will actually make a Turnitin assignment. So here as a student, I'm gonna view that assignment I have just created and start to upload my work to it. Here you'll see I can click add work. Sometimes you may actually edit a template as well. So you just click on that. But in this example, we're gonna upload a report. Now this report has got some intentional copying from a website to actually demonstrate the process. So here I'm going to press done and then I'm just going to choose the hand in option to return back to my teacher. You'll also see a little animation to show that's been done. Once I've done that, I'm going back now to my teacher view and I can click on the assignment and also see who's handed it in. As you can see here, my test student Elon has handed in that assignment. I can click on this as a teacher and provide the feedback as usual and read the report. But you'll also see now under the title, a view turn it in report option. And I can click this to start looking at the turn it in and any similarities that have been found. I can also print this off so that I could create a PDF, for example, or a printed piece of paper with that report. And I can see all of the various sources that have been found, etc. I can also click on these to exclude a particular source if I needed to, and I can also filter session of source overview and all sources as well, which is really helpful to get a breakdown of the individual sources. As a teacher then, I can provide some feedback and I can return this to the student. Once this is done, as a student, I can actually then view that feedback and also view the Turnitin report. So here as a student, I can see it's been returned. So I can click view assignment to not only view my feedback, but also my Turnitin report, as you can see here. So I can click this and again, as a student, can get an overview of that Turnitin report, what sources I may not have referenced, for example, or any work that I need to change. Once I have done this, I can close this off and then make the changes directly in the assignment by clicking it and then starting to work on the improvements my teacher has given me. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. It really helps. Thank you.